Galnet News Update, 13th of October 3308. Admiral Nicholas Glass has claimed that Thargoids have been repulsed from Andakavi by Operation Tyndarius and that the promised heat sink launchers are available at the Kamihu Sky megaship. Both assertions appear to be false, at least for now. The Sirius and Alliance Coalition organised a well-supported week-long campaign against the Thargoids who have taken up residence in the Alliance system of Andakavi. 99% of the highest stretch goal was achieved by the deadline, yet as of 2pm today there were still numerous Thargoids present in the system. This hasn't stopped Admiral Glass, who is on the Sirius Corporation payroll, but who also has a seat on the Alliance Council of Admirals from declaring the action a triumph. Given that the vast majority of the effective combat was undertaken by independent pilots, it is questionable whether Sirius's involvement had any effect, as Councillor Nakato Kane has pointed out. She also suggested that the Thargoids are undertaking a controlled withdrawal and have not been defeated in combat at all. The promised heatsink launchers are not yet delivered to Kamihu Sky, but this is not unusual and commanders are reminded that pre-engineered modules can be transferred between stations for free, so there's no need to wait in Andakavi for them to put in an appearance. There's good news for those who didn't earn one of those prized heat sinks with the extra large magazine. Admiral Glass has renewed his promise, first made in April, that they will shortly be available commercially from Sirius Corporation technology brokers. Alliance Prime Minister Edmund Mahan expressed his relief that the controversial Sirius Alliance Coalition has finally achieved a success. <laughs>